I'm a lifelong farmer. We're mainly a corn and soybean farm. In the past, we've raised purebred sheep and it's a finished hog operation, but now we just have the llamas and the grain farm. Well, we used to raise purebred southbound sheep and had a great Pyrenees dog as a guard animal and had heard llamas were a good guard animal and so we bought two guard animals in 1994 and then the next year started breeding them. That's now part of our farm business. We're here in Montgomery County and I know of probably half a dozen farms that have llamas here. It sure is different than raising hogs or sheep or beef cows. It's something that we really enjoy and we just find them fascinating. Well, they originate in uh, South America and llamas are in the camelid family, which would include um, camels and alpacas, uh, guanacas. Alpacas have a shorter ear. Uh, llamas have a more banana type shaped ear. Llamas are, are bigger. Uh, alpacas kind of have a, a roached back, um, a, just a smaller animal versus, you know, the llama, a little stretchier. They adapt to Indiana winters probably easier than they do in the hot, humid summers. They will lay out in the pasture, uh, since they're originally from South America, and used to the mountains. They uh, enjoy cooler weather and we'll even find them laying outside even with snow on their back. All the animals always have access to barns. Well, we make sure that they're freshly shorn before the heat of the summer gets here too. So we do a barrel cut, I'll just run the middle or we'll do a full body shear on them, we call it the nudie cut. We shear them down naked, they look a lot different than they, when they're, we got the nudie cut than what they do as you see out here behind us. We're mainly in it for the, the breeding end of it, the fancy show type llamas. Uh, we sell them all across the country from coast to coast. We sell some guard llamas to uh, the, the alpaca, goat, sheep, even beef cattle people to keep the coyotes away from their, their young stock. With the 4-H market, it's really expanded our base for sales. Kids are looking for kind of a pet quality type of animal. 4-H has really been a great component to our marketing. Llamas have fiber and the alpacas have fiber. What we raise is mostly silkies. It's almost like a cashmere or agora. It's just when you run your fingers through it, it's just like running your fingers through silk. So we shear and then we also uh, have some made into yarn. There's different wool categories. There's light wools, which are kind of a, a classic uh, llama with not a lot of wool coverage. There's medium wools, who are uh, somewhere in between that, and there's heavy wools. And then there's another type called Surrey, where it's a real pencil lot. Your animal will fall into one of those five categories. You know, they're kind of a pet, but also they're easy maintenance, they're very healthy. It's more of a lifestyle, I think, for a lot of people, and uh, they just love having them around. they got personalities, kind of like a dog does, and it's, uh, in fact, when we're having babies, I always tell Susan I'm going out to the barn to play with the, it's like going out in the barn and playing with a bunch of puppies. We're Mark and Susan Smith from Montgomery County. And we found our voice with Indiana Farm Bureau.